Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error when trying to upgrade your Windows 10 computer or perhaps an older computer or laptop device to Windows 11. And it says this PC does not meet the Windows 11 system requirements. And it says here's why. And it may list that the PC must support TPM 2.0 as well as the PC must support secure boot as two examples here. You may also have hard drive space limitations as well, as well as an outdated processor or other hardware. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve this issue, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do, if you currently have the setup open here, just go ahead and close out of here. And if you have this ISO file, which is probably how I would recommend you guys follow along with this video, so go on to Microsoft's website, down the ISO file, I have a link in the description of the video, as well as my own video on how to download the ISO file. So we are going to mount it to a folder on our desktop, so just go ahead and open up or create a folder. So I'm just going to start over here and just close out of everything. And I'm going to delete that folder I created. And like I said, we're just starting off of an ISO file. And right click on a blank area of our desktop, select new, and then select folder. Call it Windows 11 ISO. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you want to just go ahead and double click on the DVD content and just highlight over everything in here. And when I say DVD, it appears like it's showing up in the DVD drive, but it's really just the ISO file we opened up. I just want to drag it over to the folder we created on our desktop here. And you want to go ahead at this point, close out of any open file explorer windows. Now open up the folder we created, double click on the sources folder, and then you want to go down not too far from the top here, should say appraisals or appraisers. And go ahead and locate it. It should be a DLL file. So A-P-P-R-A-I-S-E-R-R-E-S.dll. Go ahead and right click on that and select open with. Select notepad. Now you want to select the edit tab and then select find. Type in TPM, so TPM, all capital letters. Select find next. So what you want to do at this point is delete everything that has the word TPM in it. So if there's a sentence here, you see there's two lines that have TPM version in it. Go ahead and delete both of them. And then backspace. And then you want to have an empty space in between here. And you're going to do that for any more here. So go down. And you see TPM version. Go ahead and select that. Double click on it. Backspace over. And now you want to also go down. You should see sub bucket 125 right under that other TPM. We were going to search for it later, since we found it right here. It says UEFI Secure Boot Blocking. Go ahead and double click on this and delete that line. And we're going to go ahead and delete that space in between here. Keep the sub buckets. You don't have to delete them. Go ahead and select Find Next. Go ahead and delete the TPMs here. And then you see there's two here. Go ahead and delete both of them. Find next.
And it should say cannot find TPM. And if we go back up, shouldn't be able to find any. Now you want to go type in this field UEFI. Go ahead and select find next. There it says um, blocked by UEFI secure boot. Go ahead and double click on that, delete it, find next. Go ahead and delete anything that says blocked by UEFI secure boot here. And once that's done, select OK, select Cancel, and then select File, Save As. Save As Type, click inside the drop-down, select All Files, and then go to Desktop on the left side, and then double-click on the Windows 11 ISO folder, and then go underneath the Sources folder, double-click on that, and then select Save. It's going to say it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Select Yes. Now close out of here. You can close out all the folders here. I don't want to make it too confusing. And then go back to the Windows 11 ISO folder that we just saved everything in, and then double-click on the setup file. Select Yes. Uncheck where it says I want to help make the installation better, and select Next. And then at this point, you would agree to the license terms and accept. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. So pretty straightforward process, guys. With the gist that before you upgrade using this method, you definitely make sure you have a backup of your system necessary. You have a backup of your important system files so that, you know, if you lose anything, it's always good to make sure you have a backup of it. But like I said, pretty straightforward process. You can see now it's ready to go. It's going to be able to install successfully. So again, pretty straightforward. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.